one action Obaseki took that made APC say he is afraid ahead of Pooh. Governor fires back. Controversy has continued to trail some political developments in Edo State ahead of the governorship election scheduled to hold on September 19, 2020. The election is seen as a context between Governor Godwin Obaseki of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and Osagi Ize Iyamu of the All Progressive Congress, APC. The recent clash between the PDP and the APC camps was over a debate which was scheduled to take place yesterday in Edo, but it did not come off as planned. Why did the debate not take place? Governor Baseki did not show up for the debate. That single action has led to the clash between the APC and the PDP camps as they accuse each other over the development. There will be, and why will Obaseki not show up for the debate? Was he duly invited for the exercise or did he intentionally shun the debate for some reasons best known to him? These and many more questions are popping up and begging for answers. According to Governor Obaseki, he was not aware of any debate. He stated this when he spoke at the Palace of Oba of Benin when he went there for a peace meeting. But tracing what Obaseki had said, his media aide, Crusoe Osage, stated that they were not aware of any debate, neither did they make an, made any commitment to attend it. From the governor's side, that explains why he did not show up for the said debate. However, the APC has a different side to the story. According to the chairman of the Edo APC Media Campaign Council, John Mayeki, the Nigerian election debate group was forced to stop the planned debate because Obaseki pulled out of it. Mayeki added that Obaseki pulled out of it added that Obaseki is ashamed of his poor record and is afraid of defending it without trying to find ways to tell lies. The APC believed that Obaseki was aware of the debate but decided to boycott it intentionally simply because he could not defend his records in office so far as governor, even with the election around the corner. Will Obaseki actually be afraid of a debate? The answer to this question above is neither here nor there. The truth is, if Obaseki has done so well with many achievements to show, then the debate offers him a good platform to showcase his achievements and convince the Edo people to vote for him again. On the other hand, if he has nothing to show, then he could be afraid of debates. So, since Obaseki has always claimed he performed very well in Edo, it is somehow difficult to believe he would be afraid of debates. However, Obaseki is well educated and intelligent that he can speak English very well and make intelligent public speeches as he has always done. However, Obaseki stated that he was not aware of the debate. It is left for the organizers to show evidence that he was duly invited and is actually aware. More importantly, the APC that is accusing the governor of internationally boycotting the debates can publish evidence of invitation and convince the public that Obaseki was actually aware of the debate but chose to pull out. Maybe that action was because he was afraid and unable to defend his record, as APC claimed. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, debates or no debates, that cannot decide the fates of the election. That cannot decide who wins the election. To me, I see that debate as a means of lousiness. 
What are you going there to debate for? You are going there to showcase or to uh, advertise yourself. You are going there to expose and boast of what you have done so far. My dear, no matter how you try to showcase, boast, present, advertise what you have done before in, in your past administration, that will not still earn you a second term or earn you the seat of a governor. So Obaseki not appearing is not a big deal. Him not appearing shows that he is a wise man. That, that, is not, that is not his priority. That is why he didn't bother to, to, to even pay attention to things like that. If he sees it to be necessary, if they say that this debate will be with this, with determine or decide your fate as a winner of the election, then it will appear. But for the fact that it wasn't, then what's the need? What's the need? So why will he? He doesn't need, need that. He doesn't need that. So whatever anyone like he should say, that is their own problem. That is their own issue. All I know is that that cannot decide the fate of the election. That cannot decide the winning of the election. Do you understand? So, um, Obaseki is an, is an humble man. He's an humble man and a man of integrity. So, he doesn't showcase, he doesn't boast, he doesn't... Uh, 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 big mouth anyone. She understand now. He's just f a focused man. Do you understand? So uh, my viewers, you don't need to, um, to 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 pay attention to whatever anyone must have said concerning Obaseki because to me, I see it as a male cheap blackmail. Do you understand? It's a cheap blackmail. All right. So, what's your take on this news, my viewers? What's your own observation? Please, don't hesitate to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.